Hi, it's Life and Vibe again. My goodness, for a gentleman who has such a sore back, Tim is just like throwing out the content today and we're going to try to keep up with it. So let me make this quick. You know what I got to do? I got to get those fair uses out real fast. Oh, this is Ray, by the way. This is Life and Vibe. And this is, I think, video number four of nine that Tim released today. And they're not even short. And I'm trying to figure out if his back hurts so much, how is he being so busy? I mean, he's going everywhere today. This man cannot sit still or stay home. I mean, I'm home recording all this stuff. <laughs> all right, Tim, I'm getting tired. Let's get my fair use. This is transformative. This is supposed to be for entertainment purposes only. And uh, that's why I'm using Tim's content as fair use. And uh, just a disclaimer, this is my opinion. It's my commentary. And even though I am a registered nurse and trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, trying to take care of her own mental health today, I'm not treating or diagnosing Tim. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, I am not. All right. So let's just get over here. I'm going to make me small. I'm trying to make this quick because finally I think he gave up and decided to lie down. But he said, you know, I've got to, I've got to start making that YouTube coin today. So I'm going to put out a thousand videos. And he, and he kept to his word. We got 15 minutes of a Walmart. Yep. We went to Walmart because he's got that uh, coffee donation money and his buy me a coffee from one of his subscribers to go get some lidocaine patches. But, you know, watch Tim because he doesn't just go into the store and get lidocaine patches. He goes off and does other stuff, which makes you wonder, how bad is that back? Or is it just a, a way for him to kind of dry, dry bag and grift, in my opinion only? Flim flaming scoundrel. <laughs> Confidence trickster. Oh, my goodness. Am I going to have to bring Judge Mathis out? Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim. Coming to you from the Walmart parking lot. Oh, gosh. The Advil that he takes like Tic Tacs. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He is eating those things like Tic Tacs. Your liver doesn't like you. With all my enthusiasm, because I'm dying. <laughs> I'm going to drop three of these Advil gels. Three. Mm. Oh, where my, where my, um. <laughs> I don't want to show not having any compassion as a registered nurse. I'm extremely compassionate. I can promise you. I have compassion for the people that I feel that. He is flim flaming and uh, potentially manipulating to get money out of it with his subscriber base. So I have a lot of compassion, I promise you. But this gentleman supposedly says he's got a really sore back. He just performatively popped in three Advil. But now he's like crawling around in his truck. We just saw that he was walking around a construction site and walking on concrete slabs and on uneven surfaces. So it begs you to think, how sore can his back be? What about a drink? <laughs> Should be some coffee in there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's my microphone doing? Hang on. I apologize. Oh, he's got Gatorade light, I guess. We don't edit around here. Stuff's not the best tasting stuff in the world, but I'm drinking it. <laughs> Oh, mm. folks, I made it to Washington, the city of Washington, mm. Utah. Get a starter, buddy. You need a starter. Uh, are you kind enough to offer anybody a jump start? Are you just going to say something nasty? This is this is Christian Tim here. OK, this is the gentleman who talked about. Other people being wicked today. He won't help them. Mm. Oh, I said, oh, Chevelle or Skylark or something. Anyway, mm. I'm putting the videos up. I'm going to.
you are on your high horse, mate. <laughs> For somebody who literally, he really is a snob and without a right to be so. He's a snob. He's an absolute snob on everybody else's dime. Wear you out today because it's just a gorgeous, beautiful, unbelievable day to be here in the lower mm. uh, altitude in Washington, uh, working my way towards St. George. Uh, Green Springs is right there. I'm getting familiar with the area. Hurricane is right there. They're all right here together. I'm basically in St. George. And I'm going in here specifically to get some uh, Atlanta cake. Why do you park your truck next to where people put their shopping carts? That's like the last place I ever want to park next to. Just in case somebody lets a shopping cart go towards the uh, shopping cart holder. And, <laughs> and something happens. Because I had my car look like it had been hit by a shopping cart, an older car of mine a while ago. It's not fun to have a dent that you're not responsible for per se. Hey, <laughs> uh, patches for my lower back because I am absolutely in major pain. I said you I wasn't going to cry about it, but it's all I can think of. It's all I can think of. Really? And <clears throat> I want to recognize... It wasn't all you could think of when you were climbing up those slabs <laughs> and driving around in your truck all day and walking now into the... Um, all right, I'm just, you know, I'm going to let him go. Okay, let him go, right? Just let him go. Okay. Special sponsor oh. in my community, a subscriber. Oh, no wonder you're so slow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to speed him up. I was like, gosh, he's slow talking. Sorry, guys. I'm putting him to 1.25. Need to get you in here and get the Walmart brand uh, Lanicade patches. Now, he didn't have to do that because I'm going anyway. I was going to get some uh, icy hot rub. But I, I'm going to get what you said because I don't want that messy, greasy stuff all in my clothes and on my back driving around. The patch sounds good. So I pray that it works. And thank you so much, and God bless you for uh, sponsoring me. So we're going to go for it. Let me turn the camera around. Let's go in there and see what they got. This is, I, by the way, there's a correction. I had heard that that Walmart in Cedar City was the busiest in the country. And I met a guy yesterday. And he, uh, he's, I don't know about that. He said there's one down here in St. George that uh, is probably the one that people are talking about. So if I see it, I'll go there and we'll, we'll video. We'll see what the, what the deal is. Great. Let's turn the camera around. What I love about the Walmarts here in this part of the country oh, is yeah. all the wheels are round. Yeah, the guy having his Subway meal does not want to be filmed by you. He's like, what is this guy doing? I mean, is there not a place? That you cannot go to, that you don't need to film in. No, sorry. No, he's just going to have everybody be a side character in his YouTube videos. They don't have any square wheels. But they all have this issue. Every Walmart in America has, thank you so much, my friend. I'm about to pull my back out trying to get that thing. Oh. So they, these things oh. right here, they get hung up. The baby seat, uh, seat belt or something like that. And they get hung up on the, uh, on the chair. How you doing? Thank you so much, sir. Oh. Welcome me to Walmart. Welcome me to me home. Oh, for goodness. I, you know, this is where I just think he's a confidence trickster and an absolute flim flammer. He's just, you know, hi, look at me. It's just uh salesman at all times. Uh can you you know, I, I mean I must admit I say kind of a, a little hi to the people at the door because I want to recognize people, but he's just gregarious and over the top. Sorry, if I'm, if, if I'm losing words tonight, it's because I am getting tired and my dog had me walk her a lot today. And then I just saw that Tim spat out all this content. And I was like, I need to hear this because people were like saying that he was just saying some, some wild things today. So anyway, keep going, Tim. I want to get through this fast. Oh, God, I can't even talk until hurting. Because where's, uh, where's drugs? Where's the pharmaceutical at? Oh, you know what I want to go look at? Um, I'm wearing a new shirt. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but they've got a brand called Birdie, Birdie Bound. Now, they have another brand called, um, uh, what's it called? Ben Hogan. But this Birdie brand, I just discovered it, and it is a high-quality uh, brand. 
of uh, golf shirts and uh, shorts. Uh, I'm wearing a new uh, shirt. Uh, uh, really, Tam? Already, Judge Mathis having to come to the floor. All right, take it away, Judge. <laughs> I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry maggot. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? No, no. Yeah, we know what that is. Oh, my gosh. I thought your back hurt. Why are you in a clothing section of the store? If you were honestly in pain, Tim, you would go get what you need and get out of there. <sighs> you wouldn't be perusing the, the clothing. And some new shorts. And uh, I just want to see if they have any different colors of shorts over here. I already know what size I wear now. I, mean, I tried everything on yesterday. Here, you want to see it? I'll show you. Here's a little mirror. I got the khaki on today. <laughs> and they have a little pocket here. And they have a little branding here. And then the shirts, they have a little <laughs> little golf club guy there. Take this out. I do need to lose some weight. So I'm wearing the... Uh, uh, vein much, Tim? Any vanity by any chance? <laughs> I never go into the clothing section at Walmart. I go into Walmart. I get what I need. It's just probably from the pharmacy at the moment because I've been on to get my antibiotics. And then I kick it out of the Walmart. Mm, I don't have time for all this. <laughs> uh, two sizes too small because <laughs> I don't want to buy extra large. That's all right. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get it down. <laughs> Miss Tammy will start walking, walking me to death. Oh, you actually said Miss can... Tammy. You actually said Miss Tammy. You've been using Miss T. No, it's Miss Tammy. Okay, interesting. Find them real quick before we get the lanicade. Oh gosh. It's 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 pronounced lidocaine, lido. Okay, not ladder. <laughs> it's okay. I know you like to get that little southern drawl going because it sounds folksy and makes you seem relatable to people. So I know you like to play on that, Tim. I know you do. So over here, I can't see out of my one eye either. Here they are. I'm going to show you this brand. Oh, great. <laughs> so you've been driving around all day and you cannot see well out of one eye. And you supposedly have a sore back. Mm, you're exhausting me today, Tim. You really are in more than one ways. More than, yes. Did I say that? <laughs> more ways than one. Ah! Now, look, this is wild. <laughs> I almost, see you know what they're called? It's called Birdie Bound. And <laughs> it's a little wild. It's a very nice material. Um, I bought this one yesterday. It's got a bunch of golf balls on it. I, I try to stay more conservative. I, I, I promise you, he has bought more clothing than I bought all of this last 10 years, probably. <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I bought clothing because I have a mortgage to pay for and student loan debt and a car payment because I didn't get any IDL loan to pay for my stuff, allegedly. I, I had to work through the pandemic because I'm a registered nurse. So guess what I got to do? And, and no, I wasn't out there making huge amounts of money from contracts because I have a pit bull who does not travel. I even tried on <laughs> uh, this one. And um, even I tried on that one. And I put it back. I did get the gray one. I don't have the blue one, though. Oh, my goodness. There's the blue. That's pretty. <sighs> I did get, I'm wearing this one. Uh, yeah. where's the minimalism? <laughs> My goodness. I, I promise you, the shirt I have on, I don't even know how old it is because it's over a decade. <laughs> if my shirts keep changing, it's because I need to do that for YouTube for these videos. I happen to not gain or lose weight. I tend to stay the same size and have for like pretty much 20 years. <laughs> and so... I, if the clothes are still in good condition, I still keep them. I just, I've not bought one item of clothing this summer because I still have shirts and t-shirts from last year. The only thing I would really love to have is a pair of flip-flops. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I can't see the budget for that either. Cause I just, 
<laughs> oh my goodness, my voice is going. This is astounding. I'm sorry. Let me continue. He is a famous YouTuber and I'm not. I'm just a poor graduate student. <laughs> and I got this one. They even have pants, see? <gasps> Rudy Bell. Oh nice my thing. goodness. That waistband thing has got that that one shirt over there. This one here. <laughs> it's supposed to be their their thing. Oh it's on the goodness. inside of everything. So no, this is wild. The black pants, the khaki pants. This is new. This is something that Walmart's never had before. I've never seen. So all you golfers out there, look, $24, and the shirts are um, 20 bucks. Come on. I paid $100 for a Travis Matthews. I bought two of them at the golf store. Now, where is the shorts? $100 for a shirt. I... I, if I spent that much on that, I want to make sure that I knew that I, when I spent a hundred dollars on something like that, it's usually because I've gone to a brand which has high sustainability on its clothes. I'm very particular about that. Uh, I don't like to purchase things unless I know kind of the ethics behind the clothing. And so I do purchase very nice items when I do purchase them. Um, but, uh, Yeah. I just don't buy, you know, this type of, of mass produced clothing. Just it, it's it's me. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm weird like that. <laughs> I want some bags. Oh my goodness. That's not it. Board <laughs> I thought your back hurt. Okay. They got every color of pants too, but <laughs> it's a little warm to wear that, but you really do look more professional in the course with pants. I almost bought a pair yesterday, but I didn't. I can't even barely talk. I'm so much pain. Oh, I hurt. So um, these are folks, the, um, you know, oh, this is a Reebok. I'm sorry. Where are those shorts? Don't they have any of those shorts? I see some. I almost bought these two. They're kind of wild. You cannot be in that much pain. You would not want to be producing clothes. I promise you. Just take it from an old nurse. Who feels very tired at the moment. <laughs> They're golf shorts. This is like board shorts, but they're really for golfing. I, I put that on with that shirt, and I was just way too John Daly. I said, "No, no, not going to do it." So here's here's the um, here's the birdie bound. See, they got the thing in the waistband there, and I bought navy and khaki. I don't think they had black. Let me get my C rights on. See if they got a 34 in um, in this black right there. I do not have those. <laughs> and see the little thing in the back of the uh, golfer. And, you know, never forget that Kim Tim talk, coughs in his hands, and then now he's going around touching everything. And he's been all over the place, and I doubt he has hand sanitizer in that car. So now he's just, like, going around touching. This is why you have to wash your clothes when you buy them brand new. It, one of the many reasons. They're not as clean as they look, I promise you. These materials could have been lying around anywhere. Always yeah. wash them. I don't know what that is. It's a duck golfing. Anyway, I'm getting those. That would go nice with, uh, let me show you. Oh, Who is he everything. doing this for? I mean, does he have like admirers who say you need to pick up clothes because then I'll send you more money? I'm just so confused by this point. <laughs> it's probably because it's getting so late. Show you here. Come on. Yeah, that's a nice blue. I want to get that for sure. So I have the khaki, the blue, and the black. What about the gray? You got a 34? <laughs> of course. And these have a little longer leg on them, too, than the, uh, <laughs> um, the Bobby Jones, whatever I've been buying. The, not Bobby Jones, but whatever they are. <laughs> that one is got little wrinkles on it. That one's got more wrinkles. So I'll go with it. <laughs> Always make sure it says 34 on here, too. But now I got gray. That'll go good with my burgundy shirt or... Are you, Are you washing these clothes before you wear them? Or are you just putting them straight on? Put your comments down below about what you think. <laughs> I know you guys will anyway. Anything <laughs> else? So now I'm good. Let's go get the Lanicade. One thing I'll uh, get in the. Uh, I'm not. They keep this I'm brand not. Going Why? For years. Why do you bait me, I just Ted? Love these. It's lidocaine. Why do you bait me with that? <laughs> yeah, I'm here for your teeth or balls or just. I'm whatever. not always the best at pronouncing back, things either duck thing there they are a dry fit they are stretchy uh they are golfer pants man walmart ain't got it we don't need it so all you guys out there just want to look sporty and look like a golfer or if you do golf come on into walmart and start looking for uh birdie bound 
Why is he so in love with Walmart? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like Walmart, don't get me wrong, but it's probably my least favorite store to go to. <laughs> I go in there if I need something from the electronics department, it's in and out. And if I need to, like I said, pick up a prescription, it's in and out. I don't peruse the Walmart. I'm sorry, Walmart. I'm just not a fan of the um the setup at your store. Likes waste. These things feel nice. This is not cotton crap. This is I'm a target girl. Stuff. I like these <laughs> oh, here. They got this thing. pocket here. <laughs> All right. Oh, my back. Let's get over here to drugs. As I said, I'm a Target girl. Oh, like uh, Target is where I'll get lost. But I don't tend to even go into stores now because you can just order stuff on the app and go. I, <laughs> I don't have time for it anymore. It's like a time, time, time I don't have to spend. I'm sorry. My voice is going, so I'm going to have a sip of tea while he, my iced tea. I've, I've gone through water, iced tea, just to try to keep my vocal cords lubricated. <laughs> the other brand. I don't even I'm sound about, English anymore. I'm so hoarse. It's not Bobby Jones. It's uh, something. I bought a million of them. They're good too. The shorts are a little shorter in the leg. Oh, it hurts to walk on my back. And my left eye, that botch job that the doctor did. I don't know. Maybe I got the sun, the bright sun in the desert. Oh, uh, really? How did the doctor botch your eye exactly, Tim? How is this you trying to pursue a lawsuit? I, I, I would, I just have a feeling that Tim would be somebody who would love to get a personal injury claim against something. Is it or uh, pressure or caffeine or oh, yes. press on it? Maybe smash it like he told me to do, but yeah, it's not working too good. The left, yeah, I don't think that probably your. Consumption of caffeine is helping out with your ocular pressures at this moment in time. Uh, and obviously, probably not having good optical care throughout your entire adult life until you finally probably had Medicare Advantage was helpful either. Because as I quoted the other day, you should start getting your eyes checked at around 40 years old, even if you don't think you have a problem. It's that's when things with the eyes can generally start to happen. And that's what's advised if you've been somebody who's had, you know, pretty good 2020 vision, never really needed to feel like you needed glasses. But you do need to make sure that you get your eyes cared for starting around the age of 40. If you don't have type 2 diabetes or any other type of like type 1 or type 2 diabetes, then you need to be going much earlier, obviously, to see an optician. Oh my goodness. I cannot. He is just wilding tonight. <laughs> uh, features in the past, folks. Oh my goodness. Live your life. I'm always sweating because I'm so irritated. I mean, you never know. <laughs> your gizzard wears out, your eyeball wears out, your hips, your back. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, God, it's hard as a rock. Touching everything. What a shocker. Oh my gosh. Got to touch everything, right, don't you, Tim? Much very, very, very hmm. uh, now, much. Where is pharmaceutical? This is not. Where's the uh, pharmaceutical? You know, I, I'm sure there's something involved with the kinesthetics as to why he feels the need to touch things constantly. I'm sure there's something in his developmental stage <laughs> that could be linked to Freud and his constant need to touch. <laughs> I gotta ask somebody. This is different. Let me ask this girl over here. <laughs> well, he's going away. Where's pharmacy? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. So they got a little different uh, floor design in here. Nice nonetheless. You go down this way here. There's a hair salon over there. <laughs> oh, there it is, right here. Look. Now, where would I find? Oh, my Give goodness. them to me quick. Give them to me quick. I'll just ask the pharmacist where I can find these things. Go right over here. 
and uh, I'll ask this young lady. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this one. Sorry, can we just, oh can, sure. Can you not just let people film? I mean, shop in, in private, Tim. Is there everybody is getting doxxed in this video? It's just not everything is content. I, I mean, anyway, keep going. I guess, I guess you want people. I mean, Fine. you've just had all that. I mean, he just had all these coffee donation money, and it's like he's he cannot but spend the money because it's just burning through his pocket he had to i saw it was i can't even remember how many coffees but he made like 40 bucks or something and he's he's gonna be spending it already no wonder he cranked out 10 videos or whatever today oh my goodness oh my tim you're wild i got, I got no time to wait <laughs> i gotta find him i can look at my phone but i'm using my phone you got a feeling you're back the other way. I'm in soaps and shampoos. No. I need pain medicine. It's got to be back over there. It's going to be wherever mm. the icy hot is. And it sure is pretty outside. <laughs> uh, I sure am being um, blessed to be in the part of the country I'm at right now, walking around, driving around, versus being in the middle of that 23 million people in South Florida, all fighting for the same parking spot and the same lane. Going down the road on 95. Have at it. Oh, come on. I'm getting I'm getting angry now because I have to find it. Oh, I'll be back. All right, so I see now. <laughs> oh, what a shocker. It's right next to the icy heart. <laughs> I promise you, I have not seen this video. I guess it's my medical knowledge. Do you miss Tammy? Didn't tell you where to find it in the store. Sorry, I don't mean to sound facetious. One percent, four percent, one percent, same thing. Uh, she told me to get the equate thing half the price. I will, and I get five patches. Uh, how long do they last? Stay put, flexible patch, no mess. I like that. Menthol scent. It yeah, says lasts up to 12 hours very clearly <laughs> on the packet, Tim. It says lasts up to 12 hours. You're supposed to leave it on for 12 and then take it off for at least another, you know, for the overnight. You're not to keep them on continuously, okay? That's the one thing. Or it has to move elsewhere. Or maybe if you are in absolute pain, but... <sighs> A lot of times you don't want to keep them on extended because obviously it could start to cause potential dermatitis. That we were always told to take them off the patients for certain amounts of time anyway. That's what I'm going to get. <laughs> we have the icy hot rollerball. Oh but uh, this looks what I need right here. Heck, I'll get two of them. Well, she That's sent you do. more than enough to buy so it. And then the leftover, okay. you're supposed to get yourself a cup of coffee and those. So that should be about right. Because the, the lady was kind enough to send you $15 for this. Because it's everybody else's responsibility to pay for Tim's bad mistakes from the past. Hey. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Pardon me, Jesus. Well, thank you very much. Uh for the sponsor to help me out. Mm. You care about me. I love you too. Oh my Crush goodness. Ugh. Hey, how's it going, oh, everybody? Oh gosh, I gotta stop, Terry. I can't do it again. I can't do it again, Tim. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. I gotta finish this thing out because, and I, you know, let me just show up all my lovely supporters here uh, before I finish out because, and I need to add you on, Kyle. I have not forgotten, Kyle. I just haven't had a chance because Tim spat out so much content today and if you do like my content why don't you subscribe to me instead of subscribing to tim because i'm trying to get to five thousand billion subscribers by the end of the year or some nonsense like that <laughs> all right guys talk to you later bye